Uh, this short clip would be will be um, entitled uh, that uh, something like uh, anti-Nazism cannot be the only being anti-Nazi or something like this cannot be the only political virtue of the West of Europe of United States and so on. Um, what I mean by that by this statement, this statement I mean that. Um, uh, when, for instance, when we observe how the political situation has changed in the uh, 1940s, uh, 1950s, 1960s, in 1970s the Western elites have uh, observed already, uh, even the, the left, the, the leftist intellectuals have observed largely, that the Soviet Union is um, maybe not as, uh, as, as bad as the Third Reich was, but still something very similar. And uh, the old anti-Nazi sentiment transformed uh, into some sort of anti-totalitarian uh, sentiment, that every totalitarianism is bad. And of course every totalitarianism is bad, and I don't dispute that. But um, the problem is that the Nazism is still considered something like a number one and the oversimplified uh, version and vision of uh, Nazism is portrayed as something like uh, some, co some sort of absolute evil, something like z absolute zero, so we can also have absolute zero, we can also have absolute evil that we, uh, we use this absolute evil as some sort of our uh, of, uh, some sort of, of uh, device that helps us with our moral compass. The problem is that, <clears throat> that um, Nazism is only one of uh, many forms of political evil that can uh, come to us. Uh, for instance, when we consider um, Nazism as something, uh, the, the, the worst thing that can happen in, uh, in politics. Uh, not, not to, uh, of course it's, it's very, uh, and I don't mean here that it's, it's really, a, if it's a fact or it's not a fact, if it's right to perceive Nazism as the worst uh, political uh, option ever. Because uh, we can point out, for instance, that uh, communism has murdered uh, uh, many, uh, many times more uh, people. For instance, communism is responsible for, for death of uh, about um, 120 uh, million uh, people directly and the, uh, the other and, and uh, maybe one hundred or one hundred fifty thousand uh, sorry million uh, and ind indirectly um, for instance causing the economical chaos uh, because uh, communism uh, ba is based on uh, on uh, propositions that are have no uh, no real uh, uh, justification in the, the, the field of economics that they are just it's just um, it's all just wishful thinking and uh, planning from the heart not from from the reason and uh, economical uh, um, economic observation so <clears throat> so it's uh, they are victims of uh, communism like uh, sh like people shot in the head and they are victims of uh, communist uh, like uh, people uh, who are who, death, who, who, who died because of the hunger caused by the economic, uh, economical experiments, communist experiments. Nazism is more simple, it's, more, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, connected with only one country that existed for a very short period of time and perhaps because it's more clear that it's perceived as it's a good um, example of political evil, maybe better than, than communism, because uh, there were many uh, tyrannical, uh, bloody communist regimes like uh, Maoist, Stalinist and so on, uh, whereas there were, were only Nazis in one place, in, in Germany, in, uh, under Hitler, of course. So um, maybe, uh, so we use this uh, Nazism as some sort of anti a compass, a uh, moral anti-compass, and it's a, it's not. Uh, this situation has also a very huge disadvantage because we tend to think that 
um, the political misfortune and political um, political extremism, political uh, political crimes and so on are connected somehow always with the protecting